Hello everyone, welcome to our tour of the new Stadendam, the next to newest Holland America cruise ship as of 2022. This was from our 7-9 Western Caribbean cruise on the new Stadendam earlier this year. For this ship tour, we'll show you the highlights of the new Stadendam, deck by deck, and also give you an idea of what the entertainment and the food were like. For a more in-depth look at the dining options, you can check out our food videos from this ship. See the description for a link to the playlist. Embarkation was at Port Everglades, Florida, and we boarded the ship on deck two. So that's where we'll start the tour. Enjoy! <laughs> Trying to make you hungry? Uh -huh. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good. Huh? Whoa, look at the chandeliers. Now let's take a look at the upper level of the dining room with its elegant chandeliers and arches. Then we'll head back the other way towards the front of deck 2 past the atrium area.
two old men from the Muppet Show right there. <laughs> so that's where it is now. There have been a lot of Rotterdams in our history. We had four ships named Rotterdam before our company turned 40 years old. Just walk away. Nobody ever gives you round of applause for the nice job you do on board the ship. Yeah. <laughs> chef Thomas, who is actually a chef from Cell de Mer. Then next, we're going to take our chicken. Should fit. Right on top. Perfect. Nice And that was deck 2 on New Stottendam. Now we'll go down to deck 1, which is mostly cabins. We'll show you a quick look at our ocean view stateroom and the other public spaces for deck 1 as well. And that was a look at our stateroom and the rest of deck 1, the lowest publicly accessible deck of the ship. Now let's return to deck 2 where we'll head up these stairs to deck 3, right into the new Stondam's casino. Chanel, tax and duty free.
Pretty cool. Houses of Amsterdam. That looks like a piece of And that was deck three and it's wraparound promenade deck. A rarity nowadays that a newer cruise ship has one where you can go all the way around from bow to stern, port side to starboard side. Now let's head up to deck nine, Lido deck, since four through eight are all cabins only. Deck nine, Lido deck. Lido deck. Whoa. Doesn't make you look skinnier? I kind of like <laughs> it. Now let's take a look at some sample food items from the Lido Market Buffet. You can check out our Holland America Buffet videos for a more in-depth look as well.
beer on tap. So which one is this? This one with the diving sauce, and this one's the buffalo sauce yeah. and with uh, blue, cheese. blue cheese. We'll end our look at deck 9 here with this funky crystal statue of David holding a cell phone, seemingly taking a selfie. We'll head up now to deck 10. Deck 10, Panorama Deck. Deck 10 floor is pretty much all cabins up front, so we'll start our tour on this deck at the midship area where the New York deli and pizza is located. That's not a real guitar. That yeah, is. <laughs> Here is the back entrance to the Tamarind and Nami Sushi specialty restaurant. We'll show you how it looks like when you go through the front, accessible by the aft elevators and stairs.
And that was deck 10. Deck 11, sun deck. Now let's hop on up to deck 11, which also has cabins up front. Deck 11 features the jogging track, which overlooks the Lido deck. There is also the sport court where you can play basketball, soccer, and pickleball. And that was deck 11 on the new Stottendam. There is a sun deck around the ship's funnel on this level, but after the pandemic it has been converted to a crew-only recreation area. Deck 12, observation deck. Now let's head on up to deck 12, featuring the Exploration Central and Cafe, plus the Crow's Nest Lounge. Deck 14, Finally, there is Deck 14, Sky Deck, which is located at the fore of the ship. You can get some nice views here or just relax in quiet because it's a bit of a secret since you can only access it via the fore elevator and it doesn't show up on the new Stottendam official deck plan. Now let's take a look at the new Stottendam from the outside, first as she was docked at Ocho Rios, Jamaica. And that concludes our Holland America new Stondam tour. Here are sample schedule of activities from our cruise that you might find helpful. One is from Sea Day and another one from a Port Day. As far as a review of the new Stondam goes, overall we were very impressed. The ship was super clean, modern, and elegant. 
entertainment was surprisingly good. The shows were fantastic. The singers and dancers were some of the best we've seen on any cruise ship. Also, there is live music for just about anyone's taste. The food was excellent. Just about everything in the dining room and the Lido Marketplace buffet were delicious. And typically, we've experienced great service on Hall America cruises. And the service by the crew on the new Sandam was no exception. The room stewards, the wait staff in the main dining rooms, and the servers at the buffet delivered absolutely terrific service. So, what were your impressions of the new Sandam? We love to read your comments and are happy to answer any questions. And if you found this ship tour helpful, please do give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much. Happy cruising, and we'll see you soon in another video.